Hello everyone, in this part 5th of conic sections, I will explain you about the ellipse and the standard forms of an ellipse. So let's start with the meaning of ellipse. It is the path traced out by a point which moves in a plane in such a way that the sum of its distances from two fixed points in the plane is constant. Look at this thing. Let us suppose we have this two fixed point f1 and f2 and this p is the moving point. If p f1 plus p f2, if we will take, suppose this p point is reaching here, let us suppose this is the q, q f1 plus q f2, if the sum of the distances of this points remain constant, then this part traced out is known as the ellipse. Now let's start with the some more terms related to an ellipse. Center of the ellipse. Look at this thing. Whatever these two fixed points, that is known as the foci of an ellipse. Now, the midpoints of the foci is known as the center of the ellipse. Major axis, the line segment passing through the foci and joining to the end points of the ellipse is known as the major axis. So here we can say the length a a dash will represent the major axis. So this is the major axis and always remember this thing whatever this a a dash we will take always this length is equals to 2a and because this is the symmetrical figure so this length a o a dash is known as the semi major axis so we will take this is a this is also a and the distance between this foci we will always take 2c so this length is also c and this is o f 1 and o f 2 is equals to c so a a dash is equals to known as the major axis and the length of this one is always equals to 2a in the same way f1 f2 the distance between them is always considered as 2c and because of symmetrical figure of1 is equals to of2 is equals to c now minor axis the line segment perpendicular through the center and joining the end points of the ellipse is known as the minor axis so here if we will take this is b this is b dash so we can easily say b b dash and the length of always we will take 2b and this is known as the length of the minor axis what is this this is the minor axis of the ellipse now what is of an ellipse the end points of the line segment joining the foci is known as the vertices of an ellipse so here we can say a a dash a and a dash are the vertices of the ellipse are the vertices of the ellipse so now the another meaning is eccentricity eccentricity is always given by the ratio e is equals to c upon a this is known as the eccentricity of the ellipse. Now there is very very important result that a square is equals to b square plus c square. Now how will we prove this result? Look at this thing. For this part what we are going to do according to the definition of the ellipse the sum of the distances should be remain fixed. So we can say by the definition of the ellipse by the definition of the ellipse what we are observing we are observing o a dash plus o a must be equals to o b f2 b f1 plus b f2 according to the definition of ellipse so I am going to join here this point and this point. Now look at this thing. O A1. How can we say? Look at this thing. O A1. Let, let it be this point. Suppose we are taking this is the point. That O A. This is the fixed point. O. We are taking this A is the point. 
सो वी विल से ए एफ वन प्लस ए एफ टू ए डैश सॉरी ए एफ टू अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द इलिप्स वी आर टेकिंग दिस इज द पॉइंट हेयर सो ए एफ वन प्लस ए एफ टू नाउ लुक एट दिस थिंग वट इज कमिंग ए एफ वन ए एफ वन वी कैन टेक दिस होल इज ए एंड दिस इज सी सो वी कैन टेक ए माइनस वट इज दिस ए माइनस सी दिस विल बी द लेंथ नाउ ए एफ टू दिस लेंथ इज टोटल इज ए एंड दिस इज सी सो वी कैन से दिस इज ए प्लस सी नाउ वट इज बी एफ वन बी एफ वन अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेफिनेशन लुक एट दिस थिंग वी हेर वी आर हैविंग दिस इज बी एंड दिस इज सी सो दिस इज अंडर रूट बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर इन द सेम वे दिस इज ऑल्सो अंडर रूट बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर सो बट वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग वी हैव हेयर टू सी टू ए इज इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स ऑफ अंडर रूट बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर सो दिस टू टू कैंसिल आउट इट मीन्स ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर सो दिस इज द रिलेशन दैट ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डेवलप द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ द इलिप्स लुक एट दिस थिंग इफ द फोकाइल आर लाइंग ऑन द x axis then we will say this is the horizontal ellipse what is this horizontal ellipse and if the focus are lying on the y axis then it is known as the vertical ellipse look at this thing in case of vertical ellipse we have this type of figure this is the case of vertical ellipse in which what we have we have focus here this is f1 this is f2 and we will consider this point is a and this is a1 and this is b and this is b1 so this is the vertical ellipse and in this case the equation will be x square upon b square plus y square upon a square is equals to 1 but in case of horizontal ellipse this is the horizontal ellipse standard form of the ellipse is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equals to 1 now the question arises how this result is coming now one another term i'll explain you what is this latest rectum so latest rectum is the length which is passes through the foci and perpendicular to the is this perpendicular to the foci the line segment which is perpendicular through the foci is known as the length of latus rectum later on we will find out the calculate the length of this latus rectum also now first of all we will see how this standard form is coming so let's start to do the development of this x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equals to 1 now for the development of this according we will say according to the definition of ellipse by the definition of ellipse by the definition of ellipse we have pf1 plus pf2 is equals to af1 plus af2 it means what is this pf1 pf1 by distance formula let us suppose this standard point is xy by formula we can say this is x minus c whole square plus y square and this is what is this under root x plus c whole square plus y square and according to this af1 how can we write af1 af1 means look at this thing we, we are taking this point is o and this is b1 this is the end point now AF1 means OA minus OF1. So what is this? A minus C and what is this? A plus C. Now this is under root x minus C whole square plus y square is equals to 2A minus under root x my plus C whole square plus y square. Now squaring both sides. Once we will do the squaring both sides, then what we will get? We will get. x square x minus c whole square 
प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इज इक्व टू फोर ए स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स प्लस सी होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर एंड दिस इज माइनस फोर ए बिकॉज ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी इट मीन्स सो माइनस टू टू जा फोर ए अंडर रूट एक्स प्लस सी होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर नाउ कलेक्ट द टर्म्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स सी प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इज इक्व टू फोर ए स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स सी प्लस वाई स्क्वायर एंड दिस माइनस फोर ए अंडर रूट एक्स प्लस सी होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर आई एम पुटिंग द साइन ऑफ दिस इट इंप्लाइज सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द सिंगल स्टेप नाउ एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर कैंसिल आउट c square c square cancel out y square y square cancel out so what we are getting here we are going to get here minus 4 look at this thing i am going to shift this term here so ultimately we will get 4xc because 2xc plus 2xc 4xc and this is plus 4a square is equals to 4a under root x plus c whole square plus y square so what is the common here four common so four four cancel out and what is this xc plus a square and this is whole is this is a square is equals to a into under root x plus c whole square and plus y square now again squaring both sides once you will do the squaring both sides then we will get x square c square i am doing here this is x square c square plus a raised to power four plus two x c a square is equals to a square and this is what is this x plus c whole square plus y square so this is the term now look at this thing again this is the part x square c square plus a raised to power four plus two x c a square and this is A square, but this become x square plus c square plus two x c and plus y square. Now this is x square c square plus a raised to power four plus two x c a square. This is a square x square and plus a square c square plus two x c a square plus a square y square. Now look at this thing. Two x c. This is cancel out. Now here we have x square common in this part. Once we will take, but this become c square minus a square, and this is here we will shift this part here. Look at this thing. I am going to shift these two terms there. So in this way, look at this thing. All terms we are taking one side and constant one side. so once we will shift this part here it means this become x square and this is a square minus c square plus what is this a square y square and in this part a4 minus a square c square now look at this thing x square a square minus c square plus a square y square what is common here here the common term is This common term is a square. So what is left? A square minus c square. Now according to this rule, a square minus c square is equal to b square. So this is x square b square, a square y square, and this is a square b square. This rule we have already proved. So once we will divide by this thing, so we will get x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to one. this is the standard form of the ellipse and this is known as the horizontal ellipse so we are getting this equation x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equals to 1 from figure it is clear that center will be 0 0 vertex this is minus a0 and minus a0 foci c0 and minus c0 Length of major axis I had already explained. This is 2a. Length of minor axis 2b. Length of the latest rectum. Look at this thing. Latest rectum I had already explained. 
if we will draw this perpendicular so this will be the length of the latus rectum for this we will consider this is l and this is also l and by taking the coordinates as we did in parabola we will get that the length of latus rectum will be 2b square upon a and eccentricity i had already explained this is c upon a from here we can say c is equals to under root a square minus b square upon a and in case of vertical ellipse we have the things are little bit different because foci are on the y axis therefore the coordinates of this first of all foci will be 0 minus c and 0 c this coordinates of vertex 0 coordinates of vertex 0 minus a and 0 a and it will remain same part length of major axis 2a length of minor axis 2b length of the latest rectum 2b square upon a and the eccentricity under root a square minus b square upon a and the equation already we will convert into x square upon b square plus y square upon a square is equals to 1. If you want to do the proof of this thing, then the similar way to do the proof. Now, you have to revise all these terms and don't forget to give the answer of this question in comment box. Thanks and God bless you.